Welcome to the 9 podcast. In today's episode I'm gonna talk about a little bit about manifestation and how to make things happen in your own mind and then to recreate them into the reality. I'm gonna talk from my personal opinion, my personal experience, my personal thoughts, not somebody else. And I'm gonna give you a different perspective and not false claims like most of the gurus out there. And in the end I'm gonna give you a book or two that you can check. I'm not that much of influenced by it, by them, but they will open a new chapter, a new dimension in your mind. At least one of the books. So the, what it takes to manifest something. I don't have any script, I'm talking out of the blue. And this is exactly what it is to manifest something. To talk without any thoughts in your mind. Only then you are actually creating a reality. Right now I'm creating words that I don't know, that I don't have in my mind. Actually. I recreate the manifestation. And yeah, this, those are the simple words, simple thoughts, but if you want something bigger, something more valuable, <laughs> if you could have something more valuable, but let's say you want something right here, right now, could be possible could be not. If you want it to for tomorrow, you have more chances if you're following the patterns. If you want it for you if you want it in a year, you have a lot more chances. But you you have to follow the difficult patterns. And the first thing is to clear your mind. Clarity is so important when you're trying to create something that matters for you. When you're trying to manifest. Of course, you can meditate and think about it and make yourself stronger and stronger mentally. This will help a lot. And be sure not to miss this part of <laughs> your mental toughness. It's important. You cannot be tough only outside. And even if you're tough only outside, you're gonna get crushed by somebody that is tougher in the inside. So your beliefs I talk, I spoke about positivity in the last episode, you can go and check it, in the last podcast, spoke a lot about positivity and how it's connected with confidence, but here it's not only with the confidence, positivity overall, because if you don't have the positive manner, positive thoughts, it will be so much harder to see the reality you want, simply because your mind will be impacted, your mind will be poisoned, and <laughs> people around you will be venomous for you, yeah, and don't worry, they'll achieve what they're here for. What about you? So, how to manifest properly? 
it takes kind of everything. It's not a simple, oh, I'm going to think about something that I want, the car that I want to drive. I'm going to put my hands on the wheel. I'm going to shift the gears with my right hands. I'm going to put the pedal to the metal. Gonna kick it and we are going to fly. And someday I'm gonna be behind this car. I'm gonna feel how it is to be in the in this car behind the wheel. How it feels to drive it. We'll feel the smell in the car, brand new car. But is it the truth? I'm gonna tell you something. If you know that other people are knowing something, you're already late. Or it's false. Or it could be bought. Just have that in mind. First book that I can tell you about is Eckhart Tolle, The Moment of Now. I'm not sure how is it in English. New World is a good, good book as well. I read them like when I was 16. But The Moment of Now. Something like that, it was something like that, you're gonna find it. <laughs> this book will give you something really important. You could re read them both, but this will be the one, at least if you are... <laughs> if you are younger, yeah, it will help you. I have to read it again. Actually, we'll, we'll see. I have so many books to read. And the other book, I've been reading it, uh, I read it twice, I think. Actually, I never had it. I listened to it in audiobook. It's Vadim Zeland. All of his books, I think, are great. They'll teach you a lot about reality. And you could be familiar with his books because if you're here I mean if you're here you could be familiar but if you're not Vadim Zeland I'm not sure how it was reality transurfing something like that the princess Tufti <laughs> Uh, be careful, I want to say. Be careful with the book and don't fall. Don't fall in anger. Don't become anger at any point. Yeah. A simple advice from me. Then, yeah, those books taught me lessons. But I have my own experience and not just once you have to use your mind and your willpower your soul uh, you have to practice your breathing yeah simple as that but it takes so much time I'm lucky that my whole life I never breath through my mouth never in my life i always breathe to my nose not only that i always breathe to my diaphragm i never breathe into my chest you know that feeling don't know why i simply find out that it's easier to breathe into my diaphragm diaphragm and it's healthier and through my nose as well and this always give you more more oxygen 
makes your body feels more better, healthy life, easier expression, not choking, and simply makes your life better. Simple tips. I'm always saying to people that are asking me uh, if they're following somebody and they're simply idealizing him. If you're not learning anything from this person, you words nothing. If you cannot deploy something right here, right now, after a video of him, you words nothing, told you nothing, and he already betrayed you. That's why I'm trying to give simple tips that you can follow. Because that's what worth. That's why you are here not to listen to my beautiful words and to follow my mindset. No, you have your own. But you can make it better simply by deploying some things out of experience that other people don't. Like I said, you have to build your character. And mimicking somebody else's character, you will not be build your own. So, those are the tips that I can give you. Simply breathe out of your diaphragm, only through your nose. Then I have something else, but I could save it for a different podcast because it's uh, game changing. It's a game changer. It's something that can make your life hundred times better. And I have to think about the people. I want audience to hear it because this will improve everybody's life. I need audience. For this one but I could share it at least once I'm not sure if I didn't share it already in the previous podcast but for sure not in details and I could do it again and when I have bigger audience again but I'm um, I don't like repeating myself too often so Stay tuned. And this one thing, I'm practicing it, practicing it, and it gives you the difference. I already talked about the fundamental difference between people. I spoke about it, could be in, even in the season one, but the following here. The channel that I have, we are going to change our lives together. I already changed my life. And I'm on my journey of happiness daily. I'm grateful for everything. All the time. But as many others, I'm in infected environment. And I have to save myself. I'm gonna. So, the, how to manifest properly, you're gonna find some of the examples in those books. And you're gonna find the best example in your own experience. You could have some experience until now. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you about how I'm doing it. Or at least how I'm trying sometimes and what am I capable of. I have, I think, so much more power. But all the times falling into this trap and simply forgetting about it or stop practicing it for a bit and then you have to start all over but manage your breathing yeah meditate but it's uh, meditation 
I don't know. Uh, it could be a different thing. Meditation could be a different thing for anybody. For the different people. Back in the days I was meditating simply because of the meditation, you know. I was thinking, I was feeling those tickling and whatever and whatever. But right now I'm meditating to achieve something. To see. And to you and I'm doing it. it takes more practice and more practice and if you are into this path as well don't quit yeah I'm stopping I stop for let's say 10 days 20 days a month or two months yeah I'll always get back on track and I never quit course I'm slowing my progress but this you have to figure out what you have inside of you and that you have to figure out that you can deploy it whenever you want you have that power of course don't <laughs> play with it you have to respect it but it's in you and the time will come The time will come. I leave. Not sure if all the things we want to achieve by becoming our higher selves and by this manifestation is uh, related with, let's say, religions or whatever. And if making uh, wrong things, let's say sinful things, if you are doing that, they're making you less possible to achieve those <laughs> zones, those opportunities. Not sure, I cannot tell you, because my, my life, I'm not a sinful person. Kind of never was. Of course, I have my things, but if I'm look, if I just look around, every single person have more things than me. I'm not saying I'm <laughs> something better or whatever, but simply don't know because never been into that place, you know. Been to in a certain time zones in from my life, time frames and whatever. But also, that never made me different. So I think inside of you, when you're truth, truthful, you always will be. And if you are a sinful person, and that makes you truthful, this as well, I think, will not change you. Because you are who you are. But you have to ask yourself, are you lying yourself? yourself are you tricking yourself are you fought into a false reality a false claims how to manifest right it takes past experience it takes to have the right belief to have the positive attitude and mindset to have the clarity and to be inspired the inspiration yeah because yeah you could do it without even hesitating without thinking that you're gonna not achieve it you're not gonna achieve it and you're continuing to struggle when day by day trying to achieve something but you never did that's why you have to inspire yourself and if you have that burning desire that power inside of you that flame you always will be inspired this is the easiest thing because you know 
how much value you can achieve how many opportunities you can have everything that you ever could imagine for everything how is that not inspiring how is that not motivational i don't really know and also the opposite side if you are not doing it if you're not trying if you're not giving your best you're gonna end up in a different place a worse place than now right now you're relaxing but if you end up there you're gonna be struggling and how is that not something that makes you to keep trying to keep moving forward to keep pushing to keep struggling because this that we have nowadays this is not even a struggle this is a mind game it always was a mind game we are not in a simulation we are in a mind game and everybody is in his own There could be some different realities. And by reality I mean true. Because a simple true for me could be a simple true for you. Different simple true for you. So you have to start from somewhere. Or if you are into your journey and you know what you want to achieve simply don't quit doesn't matter if you have actually the knowledge that this will bring whatever you want but this will make you feel like and if you're making it if you're making you feeling it what else do, are you expecting for Hope you're doing it. Hope I hope you are. I hope you never quit. And I hope when you reach it to fall in love. Thank you for your time and have a good one.